Hey, I'm Pat. I'm an addict. All right. Um, I just want to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to tell you about my story, all right? You know, I started using pretty young. And um, when I was like 16, I went to my first meeting. And um, I didn't take it seriously because I thought I knew everything. And I thought I knew everything for a long time. For five years, I was in and out of the rooms because I didn't want to listen to anyone else. I know what I can do. I can handle myself. So then, in those five years, I went to 11 rehabs, about 20 outpatients. I went to jail three times. They say jails, institutions, and death. Death. The last time I used God willing, January 27th, 2017, I just celebrated my year. I, um, I was really in a bad state, and I got hit by a pickup truck. I had to get 12-hour brain surgery. I had a zero pulse at the scene of the accident. I was on the ground and um, I had to get airlifted to the hospital. Okay? No one thought I was going to make it and I pulled through. It was a long road and um, it just really made me grateful to be alive today. And you know, another thing I really want to talk about, it's like they say just for today, you know, it's like cliche or whatever, they say it a lot. But, you know, it's like two o'clock right now. You know, I only have 10 hours left. That's all I'm worried about. Because all we have is today. Yesterday already happened. Tomorrow is a mystery. And that is true. All I have is today. And all I worry about is today. Okay? And, um, you know, like I said, I went to 11 rehabs. I went to Just Believe three times. And I'm not, you know, like I'm not saying, I'm not getting paid to say this. This is my honest opinion. This is my opinion. No one can tell me anything about my opinion. I'm going to tell you what I think about Just Believe. It's a great program. The people, they don't just hire anyone. They hire people that actually care and actually are doing something in their life. And most rehabs are all about money and just want to take and take and don't give you anything. Just Believe gives back. They help you. And that was another thing. In the hospital, I, like, I had nowhere to go. I was in the hospital for three months because I needed someone to caretaker. And then with the paperwork and stuff, Just Believe didn't take me at first. But then I personally contacted the owner because I know her, and she said, Pat, they're calling you, you're in. They got me a spot. I got out, I came down to Florida, and I actually went outside for the first time. I started getting my muscle back, getting strength back, moving, because I just got in a car accident. I just had 12-hour brain surgery. I was down 30 pounds than I am now. And it's just like, they believed in me. And it's just, words can't describe how grateful I am for my life today. And it's just like, you know, for the longest, like I said, I thought I knew everything. But today, I know I don't know anything. And there's a lot of things they say in here, in the rooms. There's suggestions. And they say a lot of things. And, you know, I knew, I knew what they were going to say. Because, you know, I went to 11 rehabs. I knew what they were going to say. I knew a lot of these suggestions. What was told to do. What was supposed to do. I could ace a test. Because I knew it all. But knowing doesn't mean anything until you actually do it. Okay? Recovery, you know, recovery, sobriety, getting clean, doing the right thing. It's not for people that want it. It's not for people that need it. It's for people that do it. Okay? And it's just like, like I said, I'm just so grateful. And, you know, I have a year and two weeks. And it's just like, I just really, just trying to help the next person no matter what. I don't pick up no matter what. And like I said, you know, I think of it like building a house. You know, you got to start from the bottom, start with nothing, just a piece of land, and then you got to get a nice strong foundation. And it's like, so, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're building a house, you want to get a foundation, you want to get a good company that's done really good work. That's what I think I just believe it. They gave me this strong foundation, they believed in me, and they freaking built this awesome, strong foundation, and I'm still working on building my house after a year. I'm still trying to make it perfect, and it'll never stop. I'm always going to keep progressing and trying to do the next right thing. And like I said, my life is not perfect by any means. The only thing I'm doing perfect today is not picking up. And, you know, it's like they say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go to work or I'm going to go to the gym. You know, like I'm not using, but like I don't have to do that. I I'm not going to use. I don't have to go to a meeting or listen to people or go to, you know, a rehab or anything. But it's just like, you know, I have to. I can't, 
it's just like today I don't pick up no matter what and that gives me a chance. I believe in myself, so I don't pick up no matter what. And because I don't pick up, I have a conscience today. I do the next right thing. So it's just like, I really, if, you, if you're struggling, if you're looking for help, please contact Just Believe because the people will help you no matter what. Even if you don't have insurance, if you don't have anything, they'll help you. They're here to help. It's, not, it's just about helping because that's the great thing that I learned. The more I help people, it helps me. Because I had to learn to help myself because if I don't help myself, if I don't love myself, how am I going to truly love or help someone else? So like I said, you know, from this moment on, whether you stopped using yesterday, whether you have time and you're watching this, whether you just used, God forbid, you never have to go back to that life again. Thank you for letting me share.